Okay, hi, we are at Blue Zone today, and uh, today we're going to talk with uh, Mohsen Sajid. And we talk about uh, why it's important to have denim knowledge, uh, how to make a pair of jeans, what she's doing up in the denim industry. Okay, first, maybe it's good to introduce yourself. Who are you and what are you doing? Um, my name is Mohsen, I'm a denim designer. For the last seven years, I've been running my own com company slash a consultancy called Engerime, like together with my wife, Sadia. I knew from a very young age I wanted to be a designer. I wasn't really good at anything else. What I, I always liked, no, it's the truth, I wasn't that academic. I have a big family. My father, I remember he had a chat with one of my teachers and they said, your younger son, he's not going to do that well. It's better that you let him do whatever he wants to do. So I was very lucky. I was allowed to do what I wanted to do. I did a textile ND, uh, which is a two year course equivalent to doing A levels. And then I did a BA in fashion at like, Westminster. And when I was at Westminster, I did my very first denim denim project. So I'm running my own brand, Endrime. I'm doing lots of consultancy work with loads of denim mills and I teach. So I've been teaching now for more than 13 years. In like the UK, you get many fashion colleges. You get like, everyone knows like St. Martin's and the L London College of Fashion and the Royal College of Art. But there's a, there's a couple more that are just as, just as good. Like there's Kingston, this is the one that Amy Leverton went to. Westminster is the one that I went, went, went to. And then there's Ravensbourne and a few others. I'm an ongoing lecturer at the Royal College of Art and Ravensbourne and London College of Fashion and Westminster. What I do is I go in and I first do a denim history module. So I bring in two suitcases full of denim from different brands. I bring in rolls of fabric. And then for the next three or four weeks, we design pairs of jeans. And then in, in that course, we also make, make jeans. At the Royal College of Art, I work with the MAs. So these master's students, they already know about design. They've done a BA before. So they need help from sponsorship to understanding about construction. I invite them all to come to my studio and we look through garments and I explain details. And yeah, I, I mentor the students a lot of the time. I'm doing online courses with, the, with like London College of Fashion. I think it's open to 20 students because I'll be there. I'll be giving a talk. It's live. I always like teaching fashion students because they have already got the knowledge about fitting construction, but they don't know about felled seams and they don't know about twin needle stitches or three sixteenths or the small things that make a, make a, make a jean or thread sizes or even fabric weight. So I just give them that extra bit of knowledge so they understand about denim-like construction. I've been teaching denim making for a long time, but I first started opening up to the public at Black Horse Lane. I'm one of the guys who helps Black Horse Lane from the very beginning, and I've done more than 10 denim making classes there. I've had to open it up to other places because they can only do them every three or four months. And a lot of people get frustrated going, when's the next one? I'm doing my own denim school, which I've been doing. I just did one at Ravensbourne at the end of summer and I hired out the big auditorium and I hired out their sewing space. We all made jeans and we learned about denim. And all, this is open to, to the public. This guy came from Amsterdam. He, he messaged me, of course, going, do you think I can do it? And I said, why not? And he goes, I've never sewn before. And I went, don't worry, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, he made a jean. It looks amazing. There were loads of small mistakes, but we loved it. Anyone can do it. And, then, and many people do the course who've never even don't know much about denim, but they're interested by the craft of it. Everyone that I meet who owns a brand, they're probably marketing people or people with money and they just say, I'm going to make a brand. But then they just copy a Levi's pant, which is fine. And they go to a factory and they let the factory do everything. But to really understand about fits and construction, you've got to know about pattern cutting. I get a lot of people who are buyers, who are people that have never sewn before, but have been in the denim field for many years. I taught 20 people from Arcadia, that's Topshop, River Island, Primark, a lot of these kind of people and they came to my workshop and I, I taught them denim history. And a lot of them have been in their roles for many years and they go, I never knew that, I never knew it. So they went away knowing a little bit more about the fabric. I taught them all how to read with a pick glass. I think I've done it with you, Thomas, once, yes, once yes. before. It's really eye-opening. A lot of them ask questions about, a lot of things about washing treatment. They'll see a wash and they don't understand why it costs so much. So there's an opportunity for them to ask me questions about why is that chemical more expensive than that one? What new like sustainable finishes are there? And it's a similar thing we're doing in, in the whole, de whole like denim like Milan school as well, which I'm also a part of. So the last three days of the 10, 10 day course, you, I've got the students and I'll be doing everything from teaching and making. What we're all doing is spreading knowledge so more people get educated about it and know what they're talking about well, rather than blagging it. Thanks Mosin for sharing your story. We heard why it's important to have more knowledge about the product itself, 
why you have to, uh, to join his uh, upcoming uh, workshops, for example, to learn more and uh, to educate yourself here with more denim uh, knowledge.